Hello and welcome to this interactive training session for Studio Tools 13.5. These sessions of training movies offer a two-stage approach to learning what is new in Studio Tools 13.5. These movie files will expose Studio Tools users to what is new with the application for this release. The movies can be then downloaded and reviewed as required. After viewing the movies, customers can formulate questions and ask at one of the interactive training sessions. Let us begin and see what is new in the modeling tools. In this session, we will be going over the new round tool, convert displacement map to mesh, changes to the circle primitive and arc tool, flip normal workflow, resize trim region locators, and easier way to make planner surfaces. So let us begin. The first tool we're going to take a look at is the new round tool. It is located on your palette under surfaces and here we have the little round icon or you can right click on surfaces on the palette menu, scroll down and you can also select it from here. Let's take a look at the options that come with the round tool. We have trim type uh, by default set to automatic you also have the choice of choosing curves on surface or off. I like to leave it on automatic. Default corner types, these are the types of corners uh, that the round tool can create depending on the situation, whether the radiuses of the fillets are equal or non-equal. Now depending on the situation, you can only create certain types of corners. You can either have this menu to create the corners or interactively uh, choose the corner types when you're creating the round. So let's go ahead and do that. So we activate the, uh, the round tool, click on one edge, and here we have um, a manipulator that we can change the radius. You can either uh, hold down your left mouse button and drag it left to right to change the radius or you can uh, do it manually from the bar on top here. So let's say I want 100. Click on the second one and the third one. Now as you can see we get the little um, icon here. This represents the types of corner that you want to create. So the first one we're going to do is called the three surface corner. We hit on build and let's see what we get. We get three surfaces. These, uh, these, this is one of the corner types that is able to build. So now if I want to change the corner, I query edit this. And again, it brings back um, the menu. So the second one we're going to look at is a triangle corner, which is uh, represented by the little triangle here and when I hit on build you will see that it's going to change basically what this gives me is a triangle, uh, triangle corner now we query, query edit this again I get my manipulators back and the last one is a six surface uh, with setbacks Let's see what we get when he built it. And what we get are six separate surfaces. Now let's query edit this again. Now these steps of corners only can be created if all the radi radiuses are equal. So let's say you want, um, you have radiuses that are not equal. Let's say this one here, I select the man manipulator, it changes to 200. Now we have unequal radiuses. When I click on the, or change my types of corners, I get one more type of corner. This is called a single surface corner that can only be built if the radiuses of the fillets are different. So let's click on build and as you can see here we get a single surface. 
Okay, so we've talked about the options that came with the round tool and some of the corners that uh, we're able to build. We can build the three surface corner, triangle surface, and six surface with setbacks. We have one more corner type that the round tool can create, which is called a metric corner. It specifies out the outer edge of two surfaces meaning that one of the edges has to be at zero degrees uh, meet in a corner. We have two options uh, with the metric corner. One is uh, uh, being blended and one having a sharp edge. So as you can see here, this is a blended edge or you can have a sharp edge. So let's go ahead and build that. So here we have the situation and we're going we want to build uh two meter corners so i activate my tool click on the edges uh 100 is fine for radius now the third edge i'm going to scale it down to 0 as you can see when i scale it down it gave me the little icon for the metric corner and from here i can choose whether to have it to have it blended or sharp so we'll, we'll create a blended one here and we'll do a sharp corner over here. We hit on built and we've created the corner. So this is the blended edge and this is the sharp edge. If we reverse it, so I'm just going to go to query edit under object edit, bring back the manipulator. So here let's say now I want a sharp one or uh, so sharp one over here and we'll create a blended one over here so we'll do sharp click on the icon to change it and here we'll create a blended as you can see by mistake I have uh, clicked it on one of the edges which gave me an extra manipulator if I wanted to change the radius to get rid of this manipulator you hold down shift and left mouse button click on it and it will disappear so let me change this icon now back to blended we're going to do hit on build and there you go uh, we created a blended edge and here we have a sharp edge our next feature uh, that I'm, I'm going to show you is um, converting displacement map to mesh here I have just a simple plain um, nerves glass or a revolve um, what I've done is I've created a shader and I've mapped a displacement just a regular bulge uh, what I'm trying to do is just create like a grip effect on the glass I've assigned the shader let's render this out and see what we have okay so as you can see here uh, the displacement is rendering um, once you're happy with what you have uh, with your displacement we want to convert that uh, into a mesh so how do we do this so under the mesh tools you see here we have displacement map to mesh let's open up the option boxes so now here you have uh, use values for, uh, from render globals if I have this checked on and I go to my render globals I see here that I have the same values that I have from the tool so I'm gonna use the values from the tool so let's open up the tool again so having this checked off these are the values that are uh, I'm going to use so mesh tolerance uh, basically uh, it controls out. Uh, it controls how smoothly the surfaces are tessellated for render uh, at render time. Um, we have a minimum value of 0 0.001 and maximum of one. Uh, obviously, the more you increase it, the better the quality is going to be. If I hit a reset, this is going to go to medium quality. Displacement detail. Uh, the higher the displacement detail, the finer the appearance of the surface, uh, the displacement surface will be. Uh, this value goes from 10 
and I believe I can type in two f up to 256 here so this will be uh, very high I'm gonna hit on the default values so these are like medium qualities I select my surface and activate my tool and as you can see pretty quickly is made uh, a mesh with a uh, displacement on it now I'm going to show you a little um, an increased uh, version of it so I'm going to bump up the values I'm going to delete this one here I already pre-made uh, pre one because it takes a little bit of uh, time to get a finer um, mesh so as you can see here I've created a mesh with a uh, displacement uh, on it so if I turn this down my mesh uh, transparency here you see we have created uh, we have converted the displacement into actual into geometry into a mesh there's been some changes also in the circle primitive and the arc tool so if I open up the option box for the circle primitive we have um, the option to create periodic and non-periodical surfaces if I uncheck this there is now an option here to increase um, the degree from 2 to 7 and the number of spans from 1 to 14 so we reset this what I'm going to do is create two circles now and we'll see the difference two default circles so the first one is going to be a um, periodic surface so we'll create a surface we'll scale it and again now we uncheck the option and we create a 5 1 uh, degree non periodic scale this pick our curves and put a comb on it <coughs> and as you can see now the non periodic is much smoother than the periodic surface also in uh, the arc tool we now have an option to increase uh, the degree um, or the spans having said that if in your construction options you have primitive flags to check on that option um, will be uh, grayed out when you create uh, the arc point, uh, the arc uh, circles. So in order to get that back, we have, we have to uncheck the options from the construction options. And if again now I get, I'm able to change the number of spans on that um, curve. The next feature we're going to take a look at is the reverse normal. Um, we now have easier way to reverse the directions of the normals. So the tool is located under surface edit, normal tools or in normals, or you can click on this icon here. So let's activate it and see which way the normals are facing. As you can see, um, blue is pointing towards the camera and the yellow is uh, pointing the other way so if you want to orient them so they all face the same way it's very easy now all you have to do is uh, drag a pick box around the whole um, all the surfaces and the normals have changed now if uh, some are missed all you have to do is zoom in and click on the yellow part and it will change it if you want to change it the other way, um, use your middle mouse button, pick and drag the box around it and same thing you can see it has changed reverse normal the other way. So let's do this again, we'll change it back. So left mouse button, drag and change the normals. We now have easier way to uh, create play on surfaces. As you can see here, I have some curves that are just overlapping. And if I wanted to create a plane of surface inside that, all I have to do is go to the surface menu 
and select the planar tool drag a box around it click go and I have my planar surface created our last item I'm going to talk about is resize trim region here I have a surface with some curves projected on it, on it. let's delete the curves so now if I want to trim that I go under surface edit the trim tool open up the option boxes we have now uh, region sector U and V size so if I go to trim this as you can see my little uh, cross here if I want to put some crosses here that I want to keep um, depends what you want to do either keep or discard and I move the slider as you can see the crosses uh, resize either on the U direction or the v, v direction and you can make them as small or as big as you want them depends on the kind of surfaces that you're trying to trim. 